In this presentation, we will discuss the set operations, intersection, union, complement, and difference. The intersection of sets A and B, written A intersect B, is a set of elements common to both sets A and B. The intersection of sets A and B are the elements common to both A and B. Well, let's find the intersection of some sets. Let's find A intersect B. Set A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and set B is 3, 5, 7, 9. We want the intersection of these two sets. We want the elements common to both A and B. What elements are common to both sets A and B? 3 and 5. Now let's find the intersection of sets B and C. The intersection of sets B and C will be the elements common to sets B and C. Well, set B is 3, 5, 7, 9. Set C has the elements 2, 4, 6. There are no elements common to these two sets, so the intersection is the empty set, which you can write either this way or this way. Sets B and C have no elements in common. When a pair of sets have no elements in common, those sets are called disjoint sets. Well, let's look at the Venn diagram for intersection of sets. The Venn diagram for A intersect B. The intersection of sets A and B are the elements common to A and B, common to both sets. And if you think about the intersection of two streets, the intersection of two streets is the overlap of the two streets. So let's go shade the intersection, A intersect B. Here is set A. Here is set B. The intersection of sets A and B, what's common to sets A and B, is the overlap of these two circles. This is the Venn diagram for A intersect B. Let's talk about the union of sets A and B. The union of sets A and B, written A, U, B, is the set of elements that are members of A or B or both. The union of sets A and B, written A, union, B, are elements that are members of A or B or both, or. If you think about union, you think about joining together. So let's find the union of some sets. Let's find A union B. A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. B is the set that has 3, 5, 7, 9 in it. The union of sets A and B are all of the elements that belong to A or B or both. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Let's find B union C. B union C will be all of the elements that belong to set B or C or both. In other words, we'll join these two sets together and we'll have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Let's look at the Venn diagram for the union of sets A and B. A union B are all of the elements that belong to A or B or both A and B. Again, union is to join together. So let's shade the appropriate region or regions in our Venn diagram for A union B. Well, here is set A and here is set B. And A union B is everything that belongs to A or B or both A and B. So all of this represents A union B. Let's talk about the complement of a set. If A is a subset of the universal set, the complement of set A is the set of elements in the universal set that are not elements of A. And we denote that 
A complement, it looks like a tick mark, but that's A complement or the complement of A. So the complement of A is all of, will be all of the elements in the universal set that are not in A. So let's find the complement of our set A. Our universal set is the natural numbers 1 through 10, and set A is the natural numbers 1 through 6. The complement of A will be everything in the universal set that's not in set A. So that will be 7, 8, 9, and 10. Let's look at the Venn diagram for the complement of A. The complement of A is everything in the universal set that's not in A. Well, here's set A. Everything in the universal set that's not in set A would be everything outside of circle A. Everything outside of set A that's in the universal set. Let's talk about the difference of sets. Now here you need to be careful. Just like 3 minus 1 gives you a different answer than 1 minus 3, B minus A will give you a different answer than A minus B. B minus A is the set of elements that are in B, but not in A. B minus A is the set of elements that are in B, but not in A. So let's find B minus A. B minus A is everything or the elements that are in B, but not in A. So let's see what's in set B that's not in set A. What are elements of set B that are not in set A? 7 and 9. Let's see what the set difference A minus B is. A minus B is everything in A that's not in B. So in A, but not in B. So what elements are in set A, but not in set B? 1, 2. What else is in set A, but not in set B? 4 and 6. Let's look at the Venn diagram for the difference of sets. OK, the Venn diagram for B minus A. Here's set A. Here's set B. B minus A will be everything in, that's in B, but not in A. So where in our Venn diagram are we in set B, but not in A? This region right here would be in set B, but not in set A. Let's do a little practice with set operations. First problem we have is A union with the complement of B. Well, we have sets A and B and the universal set. To find A union with the complement of B, first we need the complement of B. The complement of B is everything in the universal set that's not in set B. What's in the universal set that's not in set B? 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. There's the complement of B. We're supposed to take A and find its union with the complement of B. We're supposed to take set A and find its union with the complement of B. The union is everything that's in A or in the complement of B or in both A and the complement of B. The union is to join these two sets together. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 10. Let's do another example. Here we're supposed to find the complement of A union B. Well, do you notice the parentheses? You've learned in previous math classes that you're supposed to do what's inside the parentheses first. So first we've got to find A union B before we can find the complement of A union B. So let's go find A union B. A union B is any element that's in A or B or both. In other words, join sets A and B together, one, two, three, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Now we're supposed to find the complement of A union B. The complement of A union B is everything in the universal set that's not in A union B. What is in the universal set that's not in A union B? Well, let's see. What is in the universal set that's not in A union B? It looks like it's just 8 and 10. And let's do one more example. This particular example says find the complement of A union with B 
And when you do, intersect that with D. Well, this is going to take a couple of steps. I know I'm supposed to do what's inside the parentheses first. Before I can do what's inside the parentheses, I've got to find the complement of A. So first, I'm going to find the complement of A. The complement of A is anything in the universal set that's not in set A. What's in the universal set that's not in set A? 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, we're supposed to take the complement of A and union that with B. So we're supposed to take the complement of A and find its union with B. So the complement of A union with B will be anything that's in the complement of A or in B or in both sets. In other words, we're going to join these sets together. So 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, finally, we're ready to put all this together. We're supposed to take this set right here, the complement of A union with B, and we're supposed to intersect that with set D. So we're supposed to find the elements common to this set and set D. So what is common to both of these sets? 3 is common to both of these sets. Anything else? Yes, 8 and 10. So here's the final answer to this particular problem.